I've lived in New Jersey all my life, and I've been in this business you know, for 35 years. And I've worked all around the country, mostly New York. When the tax incentives left New Jersey, it totally dried up. There was zero work in New Jersey. So now I'm forced to commute to the stages in New York, and the commute is, is horrible. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. This isn't about the past. This isn't about what was. This is about what could be for the future. All this is right here for us to take. Our proximity to New York City is the reason why a tax incentive would work so well in New Jersey. You have the people, you have the companies, you have the resources, and you have the talent pool to make it work. And realistically speaking, we're only a mile and a half from downtown Manhattan. So if we have the tax incentive here, all of a sudden we've become extremely competitive with New York because our costs in New Jersey are lower. Of course it don't come easy. You gotta have talent and skill and vision and luck. If New Jersey had a tax incentive comparable to New York or better, New Jersey would bring in lots of work. New Jersey has lots of space and all kinds of terrain like beaches and cities. Suburbs, farms, forests, lakes. You need free parking. Jersey has it. Any location imaginable, we have. Go, go! You have a diversity of locations in New Jersey that I don't think any other state has. Places like the Newark Courthouse, where I did a film called Presumed Innocent years ago. All of these facilities are not being used at all. It's kind of like the person that has gold buried in his backyard that doesn't want to dig it up. You're right. You're always right. New Jersey has warehouses that could easily be converted into studio space. As a TV writer, every pilot I've sold has been set in New York because of the production credit. There's so many great settings in New Jersey where I would love to be able to tell a story that goes on for season after season. Oh my God, this place is amazing! Right? Yeah. There's over 14,000 union employees working in New York who live in New Jersey. They're paying tolls. They're paying for parking. They're paying for gas to go into New York to shoot. Is it okay if I write you a check? Right now, just getting into the city and parking will cost an average crew member $50 a day. Get off the freeway! My dad? Um, I'm a new mom. My babe is three and a half months. And I'm thinking about going back to work in another two months or so. But right now, all of the sound stages are in Brooklyn, Queens. So to have a sound stage here close to home, I think would make a huge difference. Mode of transportation? I do not do the bus. So I live in Hoboken. I'm a member of Local 52 for the last three years, and I'm just starting out. I'm a recent college grad, and I'm trying to pay off student loans, and I would love to be able to work in a place that I live and build a family and a home here, instead of having to commute into New York City every day. I would love to set a show in New Jersey. A film and TV production tax credit in New Jersey could help boost diversity in the entire industry. New Jersey is my home. However, I'm currently on location in Accra, Ghana. I'm reaching out to you because I am a DGA member and the DGA is contractually committed to inclusion. It's not just lip service, it's not just talk. And because of that, the DGA is constantly seeking partners and allies and people who are gonna champion this cause of diversity. We have this, this great plethora of grips and lighting people and sound people and catering and actors who are of every color, every creed, every background, and we have important voices. We have important stories to tell. No, sir. I wouldn't even think about leaving the state. The state of New Jersey would reap the benefit of the tax incentive. Hotels, food, restaurants, all of the supporting industries do very well when there's television shows being done. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for rateables that don't pollute. Television and film industry don't pollute, and you're bringing in a very big industry of billions of dollars. My pilot uh, that CBS shot, they spent $6 million in New York. Travel agents, insurance agents, uh, transportation people, hotels, food, restaurants. I mean, each production comes in like a small army, and they spend a ton of money when they're here. We are like a circus act, I always say. We come into town, 
We set up camp and we basically use everything around us. In an art department budget, we would spend upwards of 95% in the state of New Jersey. We rent plants, we buy expendables, which could be everything from tape to flooring, light bulbs to knickknacks. And if our budget, say, were $100,000 for that episode, we would spend $90,000 in the state. It's a lot of money. We spend a lot of money. Oh, I, I see. New York right now has uh, about four to five billion dollars in film and television production per year. Their tax incentive is around 400 million. So it's almost a, a payoff of 10 to one. Um, New Jersey has zero, zero tax incentive. The fact is, is that things are cheaper over here. Real estate is cheaper, expenses are, are much lower. So all of those things make New Jersey especially attractive if we just had that one little impetus of a tax incentive to get the people in the door. That's all. Come to New Jersey, shoot in New Jersey. Let's keep our money in New Jersey. You want to make New Jersey strong again, for real? You bring the film business back to the state of New Jersey. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs>